Now today's video is one I'm very excited to make. I was very luckily invited to try out a new Lumography product and I'm actually trying out two new products and I'll get onto that in a minute. So what does it do? This is actually a scanning setup to help you scan with your phone or your camera and it means you can include the sprocket holes which is really really awesome and it's very simple and easy to set up. So I'm going to walk you through the product and show you some of my example images I've taken and how I did it. So first up we have the Digitalizer Plus and this is scanning masks. So we have, let's start with this. This is the backlit panel, um, takes AA batteries or you can actually, I believe, yeah, plug power supply into it. Very simple, press this button and on it comes. Then alongside that you can use this. So this is where you can actually feed your 35mm film through and wind it in and it lines perfectly up here and it's actually magnetic which is really awesome. Then we have this, the 127 film masks. We have this 24 by 36 mil uh, mask. So this means if you put it over this, rather than actually getting the sprocket holes, it will just focus in on the frame of the image on the negative. And we also have this, the panoramic diffuser. So if you've shot 35 mil panoramic and you want the light to be a bit more evenly diffused, you can open this thing up here, put it in, Super simple, whack it on, and there we go. So, very simple setup. Comes with loads of cool adjustable elements, so you can shoot 120 and 35mm. And then we get on to what I also love. This is the Digitalized Max. So, we have this base plate here, which actually also has this sliding element. And you'll see why in a minute, why this comes in very helpful. You also have this and this. When you put them together, this is a clamp for your smartphone. So you can be using this to scan with your camera or your smartphone. And today I'm gonna to show you me using this with my Spark smartphone. And the reason I've chosen to do this is kind of twofold. So I'm using my camera to record this video, um, but I also don't have a macro lens and I really wanna try this out with a macro lens. But I wanna also use my phone because I've never used my phone to scan images before. Um, so this is the first time and the fact that this piece of kit allows you to do that means I really want to try it out. So let's have a look at how you put this all together. It's super simple, even I can do it. You put the stand into the base plate like this and secure it. You then put the clamp over it. And personally, I found through using this a few times that I put my phone in the clamp to begin with and put the camera mode on so I can work out sort of where I want it to be. Of course, it's all adjustable, but just to get a feel for it, especially the first time around. So you put the backlit panel on there and it fits really nicely. So you know if you put it on properly, you can just tell and it moves up and down. So this means you can move it out to the side and up and down to make sure that you get your phone or your camera perfectly aligned with the scan. So then you want to put this onto it, which is where you feed your 35mm into it. So to feed the film through, you put it in there and then you just turn this until you get it exactly where you want it. And this is where you can really line up your camera or your phone. So this is the setup, as you can see it's super simple and once you've done it once it's really not hard to remember how to do it again. And I would make sure that your surface is level if it's not maybe so obvious such as a desk like this. And this is actually really cool because it comes with a removable spirit level. So you can work out that wherever you're doing is flat to make sure it doesn't skew the perspective of the negative. So once you've scanned your images, how do you invert them? How do you turn them into a positive? Super simple. I will show you how I do it. Uh, I know other people do it differently. So it really is about finding your own workflow, uh, but I will talk you through how I do it. And of course it's very super quick and simple. All right, here we go. So I've got this image of some bikes I took in Belgium and I just scanned this with my phone using this piece of kit. So there's a couple of ways of doing it or that I do it, but it really is finding out how you want to edit your image. This is where you can really start taking control of what that output looks like. 
So one of the ways you can go to image, adjustments and invert, and there we go. And then you can adjust saturation, contrast, curves, anything like that. Or if I go back, you can also go to image, adjustments and curves. And up here in the preset, you can select color negative. And there we go, much stronger contrast you got from there. So it really is about what you want from your image. I would implore you to have a play around. This is really also a fun part, um, having this stop control. And I think for a lot of people, this will give the accessibility to actually scan your negatives for the first time. Um, so you might be doing this process for the first time. Um, so yeah, please play around with it. Use whatever workflow you want, but these are two very simple ways to invert your negative. That is it. Workflow is very quick from start to finish, to be honest. Is the setup perfect? No, of course not. I think any scanning setups definitely has places where it can improve. Um, but for me, I really enjoy trying this piece of kit out. I can't wait to try it out, especially with some 120. Um, I'm also tempted just to buy a panoramic camera just so I can try it out. But who do I think this is for? I think this is perfect for people who want to get into scanning and it's not been accessible up until now. It's for people who want to be a bit more creative. You can get the sprocket holes in there, you can get the film label in there, um, which is a really awesome touch. And even with like my Epson V600, getting the sprocket holes, there's no easy way to do it and it's very impractical. Um, and this kind of takes all the fuss out of it. I also think it's for people like me. I travel a lot for work and other projects. And as much as I'd love to bring my V600 with me, it's just not practical and I'd look a bit silly on the train. And I love actually the element of when I'm traveling around or in a different place, new places, finding local film apps and chatting to people about film and cameras. You know, I can do that. But I really do miss the physicality of the scanning of the images. And I always find it weird when I let the lab scan them. Um, just because that's part of the process that I really miss. And for me, film photography is very physical. Um, I love the winding of it. I love the loading of the film. And when you take out the scanning, that just takes another part of that process out of your hands, out of your control. Um, and so this kind of gives it all back to me. Um, one, you can probably see that once it's all flat um, and in a box, it's very small. So it's very transportable, very portable. And so I would really take this with me to two different places. Um, I think it takes a little while to get used to how you want to edit the images once you scan them. Um, but when it comes to this setup, once you know what you want to do with it, then it's easy to replicate wherever you are on the move. Um, it's very adaptable, especially with this. This is something I was very worried about, was getting my phone in the right place to save the images. But the fact you can move this all around to make sure that it is exactly lined up perfect. Um, so I would take my time with that the first time you're setting it up because I kind of was so into it, I kind of rushed it the first time around and I realized actually the perspective was just very slightly off. So on the screen, you can see some more images that I've scanned using this Lomography Digitalizer Plus and Max set. Definitely want to try out 120, uh, also black and white, I want to try it out. Um, I've got some Revlog film actually in my camera at the moment, so that's probably going to be the next one that I'm going to put through here. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think down below. And finally, a huge thank you to Lomography for letting me try this out. Uh, I've got some really cool videos on the way, including uh, a new 120 camera, which I splurged a little bit on. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing the camera and the images with you. But in the meantime, please stay safe and have a good one.